Ms. Windsor has just posted video of herself talking to John Eastman. She says she saw it, shot it this past weekend on Saturday. That would make this after he supposedly recanted and disavowed his whole proposed legal strategy for overthrowing the election results. Right? Remember, his, his was the strategy to have Mike Pence pull his one neat trick to keep Trump in power. He wrote the memos that created that legal architecture for the whole attack on the Capitol on January 6th to try to get Pence to reject electoral college votes. He then disavowed that strategy, called it all crazy and non-viable in the National Review on Friday. But then on Saturday, the next day, speaking unwittingly to Lauren Windsor, turns out he was still saying it could have worked. It was a great strategy. It was a sound legal strategy. If only Mike Pence had had the stones to go through with it. Watch this tape. We're huge Trump supporters, and we were actually at January 6th. Oh, yeah. We saw your Did speech. I, saw your speech. Should I incite you to go down to the Capitol and riot? You actually incited us to become supporters of Claremont. Oh, good. Very yeah. good. Very good. Because, you know, and the work that you're doing is just so critical to saving our democracy. Thank and it was you. like, we couldn't not support your work after that. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That's very yeah. kind of you. So, thank you. You're, you're really doing the Lord's work. Well, and I, you know, uh, that's my old, I, you heard me say it. My old professor said, if you're not catching incoming flack, you're not over the target. And my God, I must be directly over it. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anybody catch as much incoming flack, maybe than other than Trump himself, than I have over the last six months. I mean, it's amazing. Well, but I read your memo, and I thought it was solid in all of its legal arguments. Yeah. And I just, I was floored that, that Mike Pence didn't do anything. I mean, why didn't he act on it? Because you gave him the legal reasoning to do that. I know. I know. Now it's, and now, in a, in a piece in The Atlantic two days ago, they're already anticipating Trump winning in 2024. And they're using my arguments from that memo that they all said had no credibility to argue that Kamala Harris can block Trump's electoral votes. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like, I mean, come on, people, you can't. So basically, everyone's going to say, you're being proven right. Yeah, exactly, exactly, except they're not saying that, right? <laughs> but that's what they mean. Yeah, exactly, like, exactly. all of your legal reasoning is totally solid. Yeah, yeah, it, there's no question, but. Uh, but I mean, like, you know, this supported and supporter, like, why do you think that Mike Pence didn't do it? Well, because Mike Pence is an establishment guy at the end of the day, and the establishment Republicans in D.C. bought into this very myopic view that Trump was destroying the Republican Party. And what Trump was doing is destroying the inside the Beltway Republican Party and reviving the Republican Party in the hinterland, right? What they all consider to be, you know, deplorable flyover country. And this uprising that Trump got ahead of, he, he didn't create the movement. The movement was there. Yeah. And he saw it and got ahead of it. Um, but no, that's, they can't tolerate that because they all, they all have nice, cushy livings inside the Beltway. They all have nice, cushy living inside the Beltway. So that's why they didn't go along with it. All my legal reasoning was totally sound. It was correct. It would have worked. This is a way you can overthrow election results. This is a way we could have kept Trump in power, except old squishy establishment Mike Pence didn't go through with it. That tape, again, from Lauren Windsor at The Undercurrent. She is not actually a Trump supporter who was there on January 6th. She said that in order to draw out Trump lawyer John Eastman, who wrote the legal strategy behind the whole insurrection effort. She's trying to draw him out about that. She certainly succeeded. And now I know that I was wrong <laughs> to put any faith in it when just last week we saw him apparently disavowing and denying this strategy, disavowing and denying his own work on that, saying, oh, that's crazy. It was totally unviable. That wasn't even a real thing. Don't, ascri don't ascribe that to me. I was wrong to see that as some kind of good sign that at least the insurrection guys felt bad and knew it was wrong. He apparently just decided they didn't have the right guy in as vice president or the whole plan would have worked. 